hello again. I'm Dr. Lana Melendris Groves, a pulmonary arterial hypertension specialist and director of the Pulmonary Hypertension Program at the University of New Mexico. I have been treating pulmonary diseases for over 12 years with a specialization in PAH for over nine years. My clinic has treated over 5,000 patients and I currently oversee 250 PAH patients on PAH specific medicines. If you haven't seen the PAH basics and PAH treatment goals videos, it's better to watch those first. In this video, we'll discuss the three treatment pathways in PAH. PAH treatment centers around three substances that are produced by the inner layer of the smaller blood vessels in the lungs. The three important substances are nitric oxide, endothelin, and prostacyclin. When you have the right amount of each of these three substances, they keep the blood vessels healthy. This allows red blood cells to flow freely through the lungs and transport oxygen to the rest of the body. Nitric oxide, one of the three important substances, helps ensure blood vessels stay open and that blood is flowing properly. People with PAH have too little nitric oxide. Endothelin is the second important substance related to PAH. Endothelin causes blood vessels to contract. However, people with PAH have too much endothelin. Prostacyclin is the third important substance in PAH. It helps blood vessels stay open, helps prevent clotting, and slows down the rapid cell growth, which can prevent vessels from becoming too thick. People with PAH have too little prostacyclin. When all three of these substances are at proper levels, blood flow is normal. But too much endothelin and not enough prostacyclin or nitric oxide disrupts the natural balance and results in the blood vessels thickening and narrowing. Researchers have taken the knowledge of how these substances work and created medicines that mimic what the healthy body does naturally. Each medication class treats one of three pathways, the nitric oxide pathway, the endothelin pathway, or the prostacyclin pathway. Medications that treat the nitric oxide pathway help keep the blood vessels open and blood flowing freely. These medications are available in pill form. Medications that treat the endothelin pathway block the extra endothelin in patients with PAH to help stop the blood vessels from contracting. These medications are also available in pill form. Medications that treat the prostacyclin pathway help keep the blood vessels open and prevent clotting. These medications are available in pill, inhaled, and infused forms. Medications in each of these three treatment classes have been proven to improve factors such as six minute walk distances, functional class, and reduced symptoms. Some patients ask if there's a test to see which treatment pathway would be best for them, but no such test exists at this time. However, for many patients, treating PAH with only one of the three drug therapies is not enough. Using treatments from the different pathways is recommended by experts for patients who are just starting treatment, as well as for those who are already being treated with one of the three classes. Current guidelines suggest that treating PAH using medicines from three classes may be appropriate for some patients. Another strategy that your healthcare provider may use to address your treatment goals is to add additional medications before your PAH gets worse. When looking at the long-term data from a number of studies, an analysis found that patients who delayed adding another PAH medicine didn't improve their six minute walk test as much as those who started the medicine 12 to 16 weeks earlier. That's why now is the time to speak to your doctor about your treatment plan. It is important for you to be proactive in managing your PAH and to work with your doctor to make sure your treatment plan will help you reach your treatment goals. Consider asking the following questions. How can I reduce my symptoms? Is my six minute walk distance improving? What can I do to improve my functional class? Is my treatment plan helping me reduce my risk for PAH progression? 
how can I be more proactive in managing PAH? And make sure to discuss any other questions you have with your doctor. I'll leave you with one last tip before we finish. Be proactive and do all you can to help manage PAH. By finding a doctor who has experience treating many PAH patients, and by asking your PAH doctor if there's more you can do now before your PAH progresses. Thank you for watching PAH Treatment Options. Feel free to go back and review the PAH initiative videos at any time.